Mr. Majet pulled off his impersonation at a time when Warhol's reputation had begun to spread beyond New York City, but when, to most of America, he was still more of a vague concept than a recognizable personality. That aided Mr. Majet when he embarked on a tour billed as illustrated lectures on pop art and action, especially when it came to answering those audience questions. The one thing I knew about Andy was, you could answer any question any way you liked, and it would be fine," he said in an interview Mr. Foy conducted for an issue of Gagosian Quarterly last year. It might not have been the same thing he would say, but it would make as much sense. Reporters for the student newspaper at the University of Utah, The Daily Chronicle, were apparently the first to confirm that the man who had spoken to a large crowd there in October 1967 was not Warhol. Mr. Majet's appearance had left many in the audience disgruntled, some art faculty members were suspicious, and a few weeks later, when a photographer from New York who knew Warhol was on campus and was shown photographs of the speaker, he is said to have remarked, that's not Warhol. He's too young and too good-looking. In January 1968, the Chronicle ran an article bearing the headline Phony Warhol Suspected, Film Reveals Hoax on You. A few days later, the Eugene Register guard, Mr. Not Warhol had also appeared at the University of Oregon in that town, got Warhol to admit the ruse and explain it, sort of. He was better than I am, the artist said. He was what the people expected. They liked him better than they would have me.